Okay guys, right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna check that the UI and the firmware is all up to date on your machine. So what I want you to do is I want you to um, just get the Anycubic um, website up, anycubic.com. This is full slash products, full slash Anycubic hyphen photon hyphen S. And underneath your model, um, you're going to find um, the firmware and driver upload. Now we can also go to support and into here and you can see we've got firmware for um, Photon S drivers and videos. Also if you scroll down you're going to see under here we have this area as well. Um, so what I tend to do is go into here. So I'll just go to firmware Photon S. Obviously if you're using the Photon you go there. We click that and we're going to get the page come up and this is going to give us all our bits and pieces. So you've got the manual in there that you can download. You've got the um, newest Photon Workshop and uh, that's in there and fixed doo -doo -doo. OS and we got the firmware here which is the 5.0.2 two um, there's lots of videos on here um, but I'm covering this anyway guys so so we go to firmware we can click that and it'll open up a Google Drive where we have the firmware software so um, I pretty much am sure that your machine won't have the latest version of the firmware. So you need to check this is 5.02. So we're going to jump onto the Photon now over there. And I'm going to have a close up of the screen so you can check your version of the firmware. Now one thing you need is a clean USB stick. Okay. So let's check the firmware version. Mine's going to be up to date. Yours probably won't and then you can make the decision whether you're going to upgrade it or not and then I'll take you through the process of downloading this file and putting it on your stick here. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video whilst I get your ca little camera into position on the screen of the Photon and then we can have a look and I can show you how to do it. Alright, I'm pausing now. Alright guys, we're in position on the Photon now. So I'm going to turn it on there it goes little beep um, we're going to have a look and we're going to go to system info now under here it's going to give us the version so we got the version of the firmware which is version 5.0.2 which is current yeah because I upgraded mine and we got a UI of 2.6 so we know that that is the version number on our machine. However, if yours is not, you need to follow these steps. So I'm gonna just um, leave it there for now. As you can see on screen what I'm gonna do here. Um, I've got my new USB stick that I'm gonna put into my machine. And I'm gonna make sure that it's empty So I've got my USB stick into my machine and I'm going to just open up my folder. And here's the memory stick here. Uh, I've already got some stuff on here because I've put some uh, files on here. So I'm gonna delete these out. Um, I don't need them, I click delete. And they're gone from here now. So I now need to put my firmware on. So here's our firmware software, I'm gonna hit this and you're going to notice you've got the UI, which is 2.6, and you've got the V5.02. Okay, so I want to download both of those so I can just, um, should be able to download them. Let me just click in here, download. And then I should be able to save them across. Here they are, they're opening. So I'm going to go here, show on folder. Okay, so there they are there. And I'm gonna put those straight onto my stick here. Okay, 
So I'm putting them onto the stick rather than extracting them just so I can, it's easier for me to show you. So there they are. So I'm going to double click these now. And uh, what I want to do is I want to extract them. So on a the right hand click and I want to extract these to my drive. So it'd be easier if I put them on my desktop to be honest. Here they both are. So I want both of these. So I'm going to press on this top one. I'm going to hold the shift key and click this one. I'm going to drag these down onto my stick that will extract them there we go and it's done so there they are there that's the two files this is a zip file so i can delete that now right hand click delete okay all right that'll get rid of that so i've got these i've got an empty stick i've just got these two files on the stick all right so I'm going to exit this and pull the stick out of my computer. Okay. And um, let's just put that back to that page. And I'm going to go and insert the stick into the USB stick on my photon. So there's the stick. And I'm going to go to the side and I'm going to push that into there. Uh, the little lighter flash on USB drive if you've got a light on that. So that's pop into the USB which is on the side of the machine. Yeah, I think you can see it just there. There it is. It's into the side there. Let's bring this back into position so you guys can see nice and clearly. I'm going to go back now. And what we're going to do is we're going to run it as a print. Now this is not printing it. This will load it. So I'm going to go to print. And you can see these two files the 5.2 and the 2.6. So I'm gonna hit this first one, and then I'm gonna click this little run button. This was what we normally do for printing. So I'm gonna hit that, and it's go whether to update the firmware. Hit enter, firmware updating. And uh, we'll start automatically. So I've just basically gone over the top of my old firmware. That's fine. So this will take a little bit of time because it'll update. and it's restarted now remember we still got the ui to put on there so we're going to do that as well so let that go in so back into print we've got the ui i'm going to click that one i'm going to hit run to that hit enter not return enter so it's updating the ui now and update complete click back here what i tend to do is pull the usb stick out now so i've pulled it out and i tend to turn the machine off and turn it back on again. Now I don't think you have to do this, but I always like to do it with new software, make sure it's working all nice and clean. So we let that load up. We now go to system and we go to info and just check that you have 5.0.2 and the UI is 2.6. That should have updated now from your old version. So now you have the latest firmware uh, for your Photon S on the machine. And it's as simple as that. So it's really easy. So you run it as a print job, basically. Um, do make sure the only two files you have on the clean USB stick are those two files that you've extracted from Photon. Make sure they're not zipped. You need to un unzip them and add them to the disk and then everything will be fine. So that is how to update the firmware on your Photon S. Always uh, make sure that you double check um, Photon's site like every month to see whether they've updated firmware or the UI for the machine because they will um, get better. So the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to look at the slicer software. I'm going to show you the slicer software that it comes with. I'm going to show you this disk that is supplied to you when you buy the machine, um, but I'm not going to be using this software not the slicer software from Photon. I'm going to be using Chitubox. So uh, be prepared for that in the next lecture.